What is up guys, Major Magpie here, and welcome to City Skylines. Um, played this game for a couple of hours. It's a good little game. It is a city builder. Uh, it comes from Colossal Order, which is the same guys that made uh, Cities in Motion 1 and 2. I don't know if anybody played that, that was like a transport simulator game. Uh, and it was, graphically it was very, very pretty. Very pretty, and it ran very smoothly as well, it has a good engine. Uh, it's something that they have uh, continued the tradition of with this. It's uh, it's very smooth, no problem in keeping frames, and it it is very pretty. You know, like all the what has got texture and it's it's really good. So let's go ahead and build, start building our city. I haven't named the city yet because uh, I'm not sure what I want to call it. So it's something I can think about. I can always just go back and name it at a later date. Um, right. Starting road then. Let's do that. Um, yeah, that one will do. Oh, no, I've got to go that way. Otherwise, I'll put the road in the wrong direction. There we go. It's not the best. It's a bit crooked, but it will do for now. Um, there we go. Cool. Right, uh, we use that road there. Just extend that right down the water. Like so. And then we need to do some zoning. Let's get our first residence. Uh, you've got different types of zoning tools here. Uh, like obviously I've got on low density residential zone in there, but here we have our different types of fill, if you like. So you can have a complete fill where it'll just do a certain portion where you can actually square it yourself. Uh, you have this little, what's it called? It's called a small brush and then you've got a large brush, but I tend to just use the first two. I'll go to a fill tool for now. Uh, if we fill them two, they can both be for residential. Uh, I'm putting some low density commerce. Uh, I don't know, like that maybe. So just do all of that in fact. And make that residential as well. Okay, now, one thing this game has brought back, which I remember from the early days of SimCity, is where you have to put your own water pipes and stuff in, your sewage, and I remember on SimCity I used to just put it under the road. So yeah, uh, we need to go ahead and do that. We can put our sewage pumping station over here, downstream of course. I don't know if you can see the arrows pointing, but that's the flow of the current. Just don't want to put our sewage upstream and then pump water out of it down here. So, sewage pipe is that one. We can put that as close to the edge as possible. Uh, and then, I'll not bother with a pumping station just yet, we'll just use a, a um, a water tower. Put that in. Uh, put it right on the corner there, I think, for now. Okay, water pipe under there. That'll cover all them guys. Uh, we need to connect you up to the waste because both the water and the waste are on the same. Like run beneath each other, I believe. I think that's how it's supposed to run, how it's supposed to work. Um, okay, so now our water needs electric. Our water and our city. Uh, so, at the moment, we've only got two electricity generating devices available. Well, I've got a coal power plant, which is quite expensive at the minute. Upkeep 560. I'm not even sure what the currency is again, but it's 560 currencies uh, a week. And our little wind turbine is only 80. So I think we'll just do the wind turbine for the minute. There's another clever little feature here you can see. Where? Dark blue around the edge there. 
it's higher ground, so it's more effective for your wind turbines. It'll generate more electric when you put them on higher ground, obviously. And I quite like that idea. It's quite, it's quite a good little idea. So, if I was to put one here, you see, it says estimated production is 8 megawatts. Whereas if I was to put it down here, it's estimated production will be 2 megawatts. So, we're going to pop it on top here. One there. And one there, I think, for now. And we need to connect that up to our city. So from there to there. There, our joint. And everybody should be getting electric. Our water pump also needs electric, so... So, we've got a little bit of commerce. We have our first few residents. So we'll just pop in and see these guys. Uh, tiny little houses. We've got a new building going up here. Great commerce. What we've got? Seventy would be great. It's a big bite. It's crunch time! And then something good. It's very good looking game, this. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Alright, so we've got electric generator, we've got water. Uh, next in our protocol should be some industrial. Uh, everybody's not going to want to work in commerce, so we'll have to get some industrial. Let's go. We've also got different types of roads here, which I haven't mentioned. Just your norms, really. You've got your straight road, your curved road, a uh, freeform road, whatever that is, and you can upgrade your roads. Get a nice little flash and icon for new zone available, which is our industry zone, which is what I would like to do now. First of all, though, um, do we want to move these guys out the way? We don't want our. I don't want the industry being too close to the city for obvious reasons, you know, pollution and all that. Residents aren't happy about living next to industrial. Although I don't know why. Just get on with it. Oh, nice curved road. Mm, probably put another one beside it, I think. Just move a little closer. Yeah. There we go, that's better. Nice and snug. And I'm going to fill that with industrial. Let's fill the whole lot. Yep, yep. That tool. There we go. There we go. It should start springing up. Oh, got a few plots there already. That's three. And to rise from the ashes will be our industrial. Something I keep forgetting about is putting water in for these guys. It's just you kind of forgot to do it. You still have to do it in the early some city days, and since then, like nobody's really featured it. Like that. So we've got water, and it's one electric. So all I've got to do is just connect these guys up. There we go. Should be powering up soon. Oh no, that's what am I doing? That's uh, what's that called again? Sewage. That will not work. Just go 
probably straight across there then, like that. Okay, so let's take a quick look actually at how much electric we are generating. Can I press on this? What's on this? Yep. Anywhere? Somewhere? Oh, alright. Electricity production, we're producing 14 megawatts and we're only consuming 3. So more than enough at the moment. Don't understand why these aren't getting electric. Alright, time's paused. Why am I paused? Stop pausing a bit. Oh, everybody's happy! Look at all that little minions running around. This is another little feature that's great. Look, I can rename her. I'm not sure if she wants to change her name or not, but we've got Rosemary White down here. Uh, and she resides at the Greenside Residence. So if I click that, it takes us to her house. Go back and see her again. Um, if we click on her place of work, she works at Garments Limited. She works here. And if we click on where she's going, she's on her way to the convenience store, so she's on her way here. It's a clever little feature because it means that everybody in your city serves a purpose. And it's, I like it, it's, it's great, it's different. It's, no, I don't think nobody's thought about doing it that way before, so it is nice. Um, so we need to play time again. And we've got milestones as well, which is obviously achievements to unlock different stuff. We don't really have much unlocked at the moment, just literally electricity, then few zoning areas and your water. Um, but once we achieve 340, uh, 340 people, I was going to say 1,000 people, uh, we'll get an elementary school and a medical clinic and a landfill site as well as um, being able to unlock control and taxes, uh, get loans, get new garbage services, health care and education. They're just different achievements. Which I'm sure we'll collect as we, as we progress through building our city. Now if we take a look at this at the minute while that's just ticking away, trying to achieve our population, you can see a little checkered box around the edge here. This is obviously we have to build our city within here, but you can um, buy other plots around it. I'm not sure how far you can go. I've only had uh, three plots. Up to three plots at the moment. I haven't bought any more than that, so I don't know uh, how many I can get, whether there's a limit. Still got 17,000 left, so still got plenty of money to play with at the moment. Uh, we are making a loss, but it's only like five credits uh, per week, which isn't uh, um, isn't the worst thing in the world. Now I can see we've actually run out of space to put residents in. So these guys over the back, you can see that they're crying out for workers. Not enough workers. Kind of makes sense. Kind of a bit sidetracked. Stuck at 238 residents. They're going to need more plots. So we'll just chuck all of these in, I think. Um, put a fill tool. Just fill all these. Like so. Um, okay. I'll put a few more commerce in as well. Select this area. There we go. Uh, play time again. Roads. Um, more roads then. Start building. 
much shit. Just pull the bloody road. Okay. Pull that. I'm not sure why they don't want to build in some of these plots, but no man, we can just go ahead and a ton of more residents. <laughs> it's looking cool, it's looking cool, I like it. Uh, oh water tower. Operating as normally. Residents moving in. Prospect residents. Ah, I've got the bloody water again. Man. Every time, every time. a bit higher now. Yay, our first milestone, Little Hamlet. Alright, so we've unlocked all of them. Next targets, we've got quite a bit more on the next one. Uh, police station and firehouse on the next one. Uh, we can go ahead and put in a few of these buildings that we've unlocked on that achievement. So we've got garbage now, uh, which is a landfill site. It's going to cost us 160 credits a week to upkeep and 4,000 to build and I imagine this isn't going to be a very place, nice place to live next to so it's going to get dumped in our industrial um, area I want to plant it in between them two I think put it there ok now we've got garbage clinic is next up Put our clinic in a sensible place, not in the industrial state. Uh, I want to put it right on the main road there. Fit some people, but they can just move further up. And the other building we've got is education. Oh, why won't you let we'll build education? Oh, that's all right. That's saying I haven't got any education. Oh, not enough money. How much does the education cost then? It cost us 10,000 to build. Ah, so I've just learnt what a new sign means then. You can't build it, and the reason I can't build it is because there's no bloody money left. Right, okay. You have complained about workers. Operating normally with his own hobby. and just put some more roads in. I'll just go the double road. I've noticed I've actually put three lane roads in there, but it's not the end of the world. It's, uh, it's future proof then. <laughs> if nothing else, it's still bloody expensive as well, like. Right? Water. 
I'm going to have to take a look at the electric as well in a moment, because uh, that's got to be running short, I would have thought. Um, so there, that'll do. Okay, right, electric. Uh, we're currently consuming 10 megawatts and generating 14 megawatts. So we're still alright for the time, we'll, time being. Just so them a few last bits there. So I've done that. I think it's probably a good point to go ahead and end this episode. I feel like we've made good progress. And that looks very nice. I suppose that's our next milestone we're going to unlock quite a bit more. We can probably also take a look at resources and things. See what's going to be where because there is like a water table and oil resources and such things like that. Um, so we can probably take a look at that. But until the next episode, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And we'll see you in the next one.